So today I'd like to talk to you about a lesser known parasite. Um, we see quite commonly here at the clinic, a couple of cases maybe a week. Uh, and while owners in general are very familiar with uh, fleas and ticks and worms, they're often uh, a lot more surprised to, lurk about, uh, to learn about something that could be lurking down inside your pet's ears. Now I have with me today a little cat called Eminem. And Eminem came to see me because he's got really itchy ears. So we get him out and come pop it. He's got really dirty down inside his ears, this brown discharge, that's what you're looking for. And that can be caused for a number of reasons. So typically you might just think he's, he's got a simple bacterial or yeast ear infection. So I'm just gonna take a little sample from M&M to look at down the microscope. And what you'll see when I take the sample is that the main symptom he's showing is that he's really itchy down inside his ear. Um, good lad. Okay, so you can see that kind of discharge that we're getting at. So we're gonna make a slide from that. And we're gonna go look at it down the microscope. Good lad. Okay, so we've got a little sample here and we're going to have a look at it just down the microscope as it is and then we're also going to put some special stains on it if I don't see anything the first time uh, and have a look again. So just pop it on. So now I'm staining it up to have a look at the little cells that might be down there. So M&M has a bacterial infection in his ear, which hopefully we can clear quite quickly with some antibiotic drops. Um, but a case we saw yesterday had something quite different. And actually when we look down the microscope, what we saw is this. Now what you can see here is kind of a seething mass of ear mites. Uh, now ear mites can affect uh, cats, certain species can affect dogs, they can affect rabbits and even they can affect humans too, although they're usually different types of ear mite. Now, as you can imagine, once we see that down the ear, it's not very difficult to persuade the owners that perhaps they need to treat it, because you can imagine having that going on in your ears is quite uncomfortable. Now, ear mites are quite easy to treat. You can either put uh, an anti-mite drop down inside the ear, or actually quite a lot of the spot-ons that we use for fleas and ticks will control ear mites too. Um, so hopefully, um, this cat from yesterday will be feeling quite better quite soon. But just keep a real close eye on your cats. You see any discharge in the ear, uh, dogs, cats, rabbits at all, pop them along to the vet and we can do a little check to see whether it's bacterial like in M&M's case, a yeast infection or horribly an ear mite problem.